India has already kicked off the next phase of its semiconductor mission, targeting the manufacture of advanced cutting-edge 5 to 7 nanometer chips within the next 5 to 7 years, as confirmed by senior officials from the Ministry of Electronics and IT. Indian government has established a strategic roadmap to achieve local production of 7 nanometer and eventually 5 nanometer semiconductors as soon as 2030. Semicon India 2025 exhibition held in New Delhi marked a pivotal milestone in India's semiconductor journey as it brought together the whole semiconductor ecosystem in India for a landmark event that showcased innovation, investment and collaboration from startups to industry giants. The event attracted more than 30,000 visitors, 350 companies and 150 global speakers highlighting strong international interest and industry momentum behind India. Not only this, recently Union IT Minister Ashwini Vaishnav presented the country's first fully indigenous microprocessor chip called Vikram 3201 to Prime Minister Narendra Modi. It was developed by the ISRO. Significantly, this chip signals India's transition from just a consumer to a true creator and innovator of semiconductors. Abhishek Singh, Additional Secretary, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology stated, It is well known that the government has been investing into the sector to ensure that we are able to catch up with the world's best in semiconductor manufacturing. We started with several ATPM plants with fab manufacturing, with Tata and other industry partners in Gujarat, in Assam and other places." Unquote. Ten major semiconductor projects with approximately 1.75 lakh crore rupees, approximately $21 billion in investments have been approved, with dedicated incentives of 75,000 crores to boost this sector further. Collaborations with global leaders such as IBM and IMEC are being established for technology transfer, research and design expertise. He added, so what we do believe is that while we have started with the 28 nanometer plants and others, the government has plans to go much more advanced chips. We heard our administrators talk about 5 to 7 nanometers and we do hope that with Semiconductor 2.0 coming in, the design led incentive scheme coming in, we will be able to go further on the value chain and be able to contribute to the semiconductor ecosystem. India's semiconductor revolution begins with the Vikram chip, developed by the ISRO Semiconductor Laboratory, developed by ISRO ISRO's Semiconductor Laboratory in Chandigarh, the Vikram 3201 is a 32-bit launch vehicle grade processor designed for harsh space flight conditions. However, the next phase in manufacturing is focusing on producing 7 nanometer and even 5 nanometer semiconductors by 2030. Also, the initial manufacturing facilities such as the Tata Group led Fab in Dolera are launching with 28 nanometers and higher nodes with phase progression towards more advanced cutting edge nodes. India's aggressive push towards advanced semiconductor manufacturing is underlining domestic technological capabilities and sustained government back the constant progress in the sector and regular talks with investors is making way for India to be positioned among the world's top five chip makers by 2036. Locally manufactured 5 to 7 nanometer chips will target broader applications in artificial intelligence or AI, automotive, telecom and consumer electronics. A report by Dolat Capital elaborated, Despite global uncertainties, investors see India as resilient with efforts to diversify technology sources and strengthen IP retention. The report highlighted that Semicon India has reached milestone in just two years that took other regions more than 10 years to achieve, establishing India as a major player on the global semiconductor stage. It also pointed to India's advance in semiconductors like consumer electronics, automotive electronics, industrial automation, 5G, AI and IoT as major growth drivers for chip demand. The market size too is rapidly expanding from about $38 billion in 2023 to a projected $45 to $50 billion by the end of this year or 2025 with ambitions to reach $100 billion to $110 billion by 2030. A Japanese semiconductor delegation of around 20 companies recently visited Dholera, special investment region, to explore investment and collaboration opportunities in India's growing semiconductor ecosystem. The delegation included senior representatives from companies such as 
Shimizu Corporation, known for infrastructure and precision engineering, and officials from Japan International Cooperation Agency, or the JICA. The delegation's visit came after Semicon India 2025, reflecting strong international interest in India's semiconductor sector. Global partners that are providing technology transfer and equipment to India in this ambitious semiconductor project, particularly in pursuit of 5 to 7 nm chip manufacturing, these are IBM, IMEC from Belgium, Applied Materials from the US, LAM Research from the US, ASML from the Netherlands and TEL or Tokyo Electron. India offers some of the most generous incentives globally, such as a $10 billion India program which includes fiscal incentives covering up to 50% of project costs for semiconductor fabs, advanced packaging and testing, and display fabs. India's subsidy and incentive program ranks among the world's most attractive, especially for green field fabs, competing with countries like the United States, South Korea, Taiwan and Singapore, which have established semiconductor sectors, but sometimes lower upfront capital support. So do you agree with the government's focus to make India a global semiconductor power by 2035? Leave a comment with your opinion, hit the like button and subscribe to Inconnect News.